Man, folks, we are back at Grenada, and I'll tell you, it's, it's kind of bittersweet. We've got a, we've got a. Uh, this is the last voyage for the old boat. Um, I like send her off in style. We're going to Grenada, my favorite lake in the in the country, and uh, at the same time, we're going to be introducing the new braids on this episode. I'll be fishing with the. Uh, the new 12 pound today so i'll be sharing all that with you but either way we're at grenada my favorite lake it's just a it's kind of a trifecta we get to experience it all and uh we're just coming out of here at the bryant boat ramp and uh getting out there gonna catch some fish i'm glad you're with me please subscribe and we are gonna put some big fish in the boat i can't wait to share a lot of things about the boat about the braids uh, hopefully get some stuff on active captain the next couple episodes without a doubt are all coming out of grenada so Hope you enjoy them. Here we go. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. Hey folks, thanks for joining me. I do appreciate it. We're on Grenada for at least three episodes. We are going to have an episode probably between there that we'll be uh, reviewing sickness, but the new boat. So like I said, this boat is for sale right now. You can contact me at threepoundfishing at gmail.com. We're gonna have a great day, folks. It doesn't get much better than this. Stick with me. Big fish gonna about to go in the boat. Oh, and there's our first Grenada fish, and that did not take long. Gosh, you gotta love it, folks. Grenada is just like, like I said, it's the trifecta for me. It's, a, it's my favorite lake, and I get to say goodbye to the old girl, one of the boats that's treated me so well over the years, the last two years. It will be for sale, so you guys can uh, check it out. Private message me if you're interested. Right now, I'm just searching around for an answer what's going on here I'm fishing with some fish on some trees but I need to find some tournament fish uh, definitely gonna come up go up here to gums crossing and check that out and just kind of wandering around this is the uh, the new 12 pound meteor I have never fished with it that's the first fish I've caught with it and uh, I can tell you that it about took my arm off so it's very sensitive, no doubt about it. I've always fished with the new, lately I should say I've been fishing with the new one, the optimized. And uh, that to me can accommodate 95% of everybody. Um, it is awesome. So, but this, this 12 pound, which I know is gonna be very popular, is uh, what I'm fishing with today. It's on both of my 13 footers. This is some of the muddiest water I have even seen. Check it out. Check it out, folks. That's what you're fishing. And I'll tell you. That's pretty dang muddy. There's a lot of water. Looks like they've taken down the old bridge and they're building another one. Again, this is the first this is the first time I've ever been up here, so it's kind of it's kind of interesting. I don't know if I'm wasting my day here or not, but either way, it's a lot of fun. Sometimes you gotta switch it up. Now watch, first drop, this is the three pound crappie jig that is for sale on my website. I have not dropped on it yet since I've been here. This is the first drop. We're gonna see if it is truly the difference between what I was just dropping How good of a fish this is, but these in particular. So, if I could get a good drop on it, I've not had a good drop on it yet. There it is. There he is. Boom! First decent fish here on Grenada. All right. He was stubborn for everything else, but that, that three pound fish, three pound crappie uh, jig. Good solid fish right there. And uh, we even have another one moving in here. There 
is again. That's a better fish. Yeah, that's a good fish either way. Small fish on a tornado is still a good fish. Let me talk to you about, uh, I want to show you guys these braids. This braid is stout. This braid is stout. It is probably not the, the braid for me. I'm so used to Optimal and the other one. But let me show you something, folks. First off, there it is. That three pound uh, hair jig, three pound fishing.com. Check it out. Uh, that's the one I got the 3.74 crappie on this lake about a month ago. <sighs> All right, here, check this out, folks. All right, so very exciting news. Sniping Braid now has all the different weights that we'd ever want. Um, I'm still gonna use Optimal on my home lake without a doubt, 100% of the time. I will not change from that. I think that stuff is incredible. Um, but for those guys that want to bring it up a notch on that 10 pound, this Optimize is awesome. The difference between, everybody's gonna ask, what's the difference? So here's the difference. This is a 0 0.10 diameter. The new one is a 0 0.12, so you're adding about 20% 20% diameter and this is an eight strand um, and that will add tensile strength so if some guys have had problems of, of it breaking because at the end of the day folks it's a 0 0.10 micro braid and um, at the end of the day you might need something stouter if you really want to stick it hard um, I'm always awesome with the optimal I love it to death I will use it on always on my home lake but if I come to Grenada I think this is this is uh, my next time out probably even tomorrow I'll switch these out to optimize Right now, I'm currently using the Meteor. I know a lot of people love the Meteor because it's a 0.15. Sniping braid is going to go with uh, the smallest diameter possible in a straight line test. The advantage to you is it's the smoothest stuff out there. It will always be smooth. They will not deviate from that whatsoever. So the advantage, the big difference on these new braids is the diameters are extremely small and their straight line tests are what reflects what's on the package there. So pick accordingly. They have an awesome, um, setup where they you, an actual combo buy you can buy all four of these right here you get a discounted price so you get to try them all out and pick the one that fits your game the best everybody at the end of the day has has a different game and so you want to pick the one that accommodates you i love optimize this thing is rock solid um, i'm currently fishing like i said with the meteor right there love it to death certainly can feel it but i Again, I'm so used to such a small diameter now because of optimal that I just can't get away from wanting a small diameter. So if I come to a big lake like this, I'm going optimized. Staying on my lake, anything in Southern Illinois for that matter, I just go optimal. So, and then your big powerhouse, that's your 20 pound braid right there. And that's, that brings it in, that rounds it off. That's a 0.25 for 20 pound um, for sniping braid. Um, what can I tell you? The focus is now on diameter. It is not about seeing it in the water column, um, although because the testing on that water column was not on these braids, that was only on the first, the optimal braid. These braids right here, it's all about diameter. That's all that matters to us right now because at the end of the day, we want it to be smooth and you to be, to be able to do whatever you need to do in terms of live sonar. So let's catch some fish. Enough about that, enough about that, folks. Could be our first two pounder of the trip. Beautiful fish. That is a good Grenada white. Still with eggs. Bam! That was fun. So, what else we got going on? We got a lot of stuff, man. We got the new boat. This is kind of a uh, kind of a sad uh, trip, really, but. We're sending the boat off in style, going to Grenada. I gotta stick with that. It's a good time. Uh, you know, boats is awesome. It is for sale. Reach out to me, like I said. Uh, the next episodes you see, once we return from Grenada, we'll be in the new boat. Sickness is the name of the boat. So, uh, pretty cool theme going on with that boat. That boat is the most technological, advanced boat. Uh, I won't say out there because I'm sure somebody has one more better than that, but at the end of the day, it, it is for me and it is definitely top of the line. Uh, Amped Outdoors, thumbs up to them. They're hooking up, hooking me a lot with these batteries, really, really helping me out.
So it is kind of a bittersweet uh, trip. You know, I didn't realize this was going to be kind of the last trip in this boat. But and then when I was on Grenada, I was like, man, that's pretty cool. The last trip is going to be on Grenada for uh, my low 198 Stinger. And uh, it's been a great boat. Um, I can't recommend it enough. Lowe's a great priced company for guys that want to fish on a, on the weekends. It's a uh, it's a 20 footer. It's uh it's done everything well. Never had an issue with the motor. And uh, to have its last trip in Grenada is really something special. Really um, excited about the new braids. Excited about being at Grenada. Got a lot of things planned this weekend, including wade fishing. So one of these episodes coming up will be. Uh, me and Jojo Baker from Tri Lake uh, Guide Service, we're going to be going out and waiting, and we're excited about that and sharing that experience with you. So it's just a it's just a great place to be. If you haven't been to Grenada, completely recommend it. Uh, you definitely need to check it out. Catch and fish all day right now. Just can't find the can't find the healthy ones. That's a solid fish though. Tell you what, so I'm using the 13 footer. That's always my tournament go-to rod, especially when I come to Grenada, Darbone, these lakes right here. Anytime I'm gonna be doing the, the live scope, one polling type deal, um, scoping, um, it's a 13 footer Ozark rod. Check them out. They have a 14 footer, I actually have it in here. Um, who knows, I might yank it out, but regardless, I'm a big fan of the 13, although, uh, my partner Ryan, he's he's a, he's a fan of the 14. So, to each his own. Uh, I think you could even cast at these fish right here. Well guys, we're gonna leave it at that. What a great day. I'll tell you what, great fish. Of course we're letting them go, that's how we roll. And uh, check out those sniping braids, the new sniping braids, freaking awesome. I'm loving the 12. I even have the optimal on right now. Generation, the first one we have in uh, sniping braid has. And I even have optimal on one of my rods as well. So anyway, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Great day on Grenada, as you can see, the sun has come out, so we are uh, shedding some clothes. Springtime, man, it doesn't get any better than this. Truly doesn't. Water temperature is 55 here. You'd think it'd be warmer, actually, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Bam! Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.